I believe in Toronto at the moment we're experiencing a golden age of musicianship. I'll give the same advice for someone who wants to start in jazz at Northrop Fry, the great literary critic gate to people who wanted to become writers. Look around, in the case of jazz, listen around. If you land on something that you really like that grabs you, but not only that's interesting, but gets inside you and takes a hold of your mind's ear and, and your gut, stick with it. Music is every minute. Everything I do is music. This conversation is music. Everything we do is music. So we ask ourselves, why do we do music? Uh, it's to connect and to have community. better in my books and having community with younger musicians and helping them and uh, letting them benefit from your experience and helping them in uh, figuring out what to do and what not to do in the music business so they can thrive as musicians. My favorite time to play the piano is uh, probably between about two and four in the afternoon. Got all my morning chores done, emails answered, and all that. It's not yet ready, uh, time to get ready for a gig or to start crashing in the evening. And uh, and there's just something about that time of day. There's still energy, and uh, I can just play. And and we forget that the word is with music is play. always been great players, but these great players uh, taught younger players and now the younger players are older and teaching other players, so there's this transmitted excellence and this transmitted knowledge. And Toronto's become a bit of a catch basin for Canada. musicians in the city are putting so much in that it's not illegitimate to say ask not what we can do for our city but what our city can do for us. Teacher, the late Darwin Aiken, was a, 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 a true prince of a man. He used to run the jazz department at what was Canada's largest record store and one of the world's largest record stores, Sam the Record Man. And people would come in and there would be 10,000 LPs there and they would ask me if I could recommend a jazz LP. And I finally figured out there's, there is one recording to start with and the rest will follow and that is Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. Listen to Kind of Blue and then if you like that listen to a recording by one of the musicians on Kind of Blue, Bill Evans, John Coltrane, uh, other people and then listen to people who are influenced by those musicians. You can find that easily on uh, Spotify or whatever service, Deezer or whatever service you're with and then you're off and running but start with Kind of Blue.